What's up guys, welcome to the UK Meta Report. Uh, we finally have set 6 and in this video I'll be going through the set 6 results. Uh, it became legal on the 6th of April, uh, although I think there were a lot of pre-releases. So uh, no real locals tournaments yet, so I think most of the results uh, in this video will be actually from this week. Um, but yeah, as I said, some locals are uh, having their pre-release tournaments and also uh, there are some pre-release tournaments going on this week as well, so they haven't been included in this report. So this week I have results from 8-Bit Planet in Bristol, Calamity Comics in Hatfield, Comic Culture in Lincoln, Firestorm Cards in Basingstoke, Goliath Games in Lincoln, Mystic Games in Whitney, Net Adventure Cafe in Birmingham, Rewind Collectibles in National on the Line, The Dice Cup in Nottingham, and Travelling Man in Leeds. Uh, one of the shops that we used to get results for, uh, the game shop in Aldershot, unfortunately they have stopped supporting the game uh, due to lack of interest and, and low turnout. So uh, if please, please do try and make it to your locals if you can and please support your store as well. I mean, they, they do need to make money on this. And uh, yeah, so if you can, please uh, get your product from them and um, hopefully the, the game will continue to thrive uh, and we won't have any other stores dropping support. So the top leaders uh, for this week, uh, for the new format, we have three Super Shemron Storm, Three Broly BR, two Shenron, one uh, Broly and one Spirit Bomb. Uh, so they're, they're both quite uh, strange builds. Um, but yep, Sh Shenron's still actually doing well in this format. Marseillean, uh, Freezer Prison, one Lord Slug, one Kid Goku. Uh, that was a blue, uh, blue and black variant. One Bojack and one U7 Freezer. So as expected, Super Shenron and Broly are doing very well. Sh uh, Sh regular Shenron is the surprise package this week. Uh, Kid Goku, that should see more play and more wins as we progress through the format, along with uh, Dende uh, with the, with the uh, Agents of Destruction as well. Uh, Freeze, uh, Freezer Prison uh, should be quite popular. And uh, Marseille, I, I think it's a bit of a sleeper, actually. I think Marseille can do quite well. I will take a few more wins, probably not one of the top 5 decks or so, but maybe one of the uh, best of the rest. As for the snapshot this week, uh, we have a lot of decks being played, and uh, I count 8 of them uh, being either new from sets, set 6 or um, because of support, uh, so that's Lord Slug for example. Uh, 3 Super Shenron and 3 Broly, uh, both, uh, both of these 3 decks each uh, actually top their respective tournaments as well. Uh, three Kid Goku, two Janemba, two Bojack, two Freeze Prison, two Shemron, one Gucci's BR, one Dende, the AOD, one Herudigan, one Marseillean, one Lord Slug, one Vegeta Baby, and one U7 Freezer. So, uh, as I said, a lot of different decks being played, and um, I think just because it's new at the moment, uh, this should drop down a little bit, uh, should level out, and I think the uh, top decks will start seeing play. Although, saying that, um, perhaps a lot of people just don't want to play with Super Shenron, uh, because it is quite a boring deck to play, even though it is very strong. We saw that uh, when it was Storm format, people just didn't favour playing Storm. Saying that, there is a large-scale tournament uh, coming up. This is uh, a Bandai sanctioned tournament at the UK Games Expo in Birmingham at the NEC. Uh, th there will be a singles tournament and a team tournament. And the singles tournament will take place on Friday the 31st of May, 9.30am to 10pm, and the cost is £7. Uh, teams, uh, this is 3 versus 3 and this is going to be £21 per team. Uh, this takes place on the Saturday, again 9.30am to 10pm. In order to enter these events you do actually need an expo ticket as well. If you're just going for the tournaments, uh, the Friday and Saturday ticket for an adult is £23. And also uh, there will be set 4 and set 5 power booster events 
running all three days at £25 each. So uh, guys, I'm going to put the links in the description below, links for the expo tickets and also the tournament tickets as well. As for the three on three, I think that will be really interesting. Uh, I will try and find the rules uh, for the, uh, the official Bandai rules and put those in the description as well. It is three on three teams and there will be uh, restrictions on how you build the deck. Uh, as, as I said, it will be explained in the rules. So check them out, uh, get your teams formed and um, yeah, just, just uh, have fun at these events. I really hope that there will be a large turnout. There is a 300 person cap for the singles. Uh, teams as well, it's 100 cap, uh, so that's 300 people again. I uh, just really show Bandai that there is a, a good appetite for the game. Uh, prizing, uh, participation prizes are, they're pretty good, I think. Um, but uh, the I, th I think the, the top prizing is a bit lackluster at the moment. Uh, some of us have been trying to contact Asmodi and Bandai about this. And if anything comes of that, I will let you know. So that is it for the Meta Report this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and leave the comments below. Uh, what will you be playing this format and uh, what will you be playing at the Games Expo tournaments, uh, especially the team tournaments. That, that will be quite interesting to see what people come up with. Uh, so yep, that's it guys. Uh, please remember to sub for more content and I will see you guys next time.